What's up guys, David Land here bringing you a special 24 Hours of Le Mans themed diecast review. This is the Spark Models uh, Acura ARX 02A for Muscle Milk Picket Racing. This is the commemorative uh, 2012 American Le Mans series champion car. I got this at Petit Le Mans in 2013. And uh, I'm really excited to show you guys this. Uh, Spark models, if you're not aware, are very high-end die-cast, or, or as they call them overseas, models. Uh, a model uh, dealer, they create very high-detail, high-quality uh, cars, die-cast models, whatever you want to call them, of mostly uh, sports cars, mostly Le Mans racers, but uh, they also do some indie cars and they do some uh, touring cars and all sorts of stuff. So it's an interesting company. They're expensive though. Uh, I got the pretty special deal on this. Uh, I'll tell you the story later, but uh, yeah, they're pretty expensive. So don't expect too many Spark Model uh, reviews from me. But uh, this one's a special one and uh, I can't wait to share all the details with you. I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this. So uh, sit back, enjoy, and here's the intro and then... Uh, we're going to unbox it. So here's the die cast out of its box, and my goodness, I forgot how beautiful this thing was. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, this is a 143 scaled vehicle. Um, so it's not the traditional 164 or 124 or even 118 scale. Uh, it's kind of in between. Uh, it's actually just slightly scaled up from a 164 scale car. So it's just slightly bigger. But uh, yeah, like I said, Spark models usually run for about $80. I got this one at Petit Le Mans in 2013, uh, the final uh, race of the American Le Mans series. I won tickets from Racer Magazine, and I got my butt down there. Uh, and got to check out this car uh, race in the prototype one category. Uh, it di unfortunately fell out of the race um, pretty uh, about midway through. It, it was battling the rebellion and actually led for quite a bit as the rebellion actually ran into some troubles. Um, but the, the, this car fell out of the race. I believe it was like a gearbox problem or something, uh, unfortunately, and was not able to win. But it won both. Uh, the 2012 and 2013 uh, American Le Mans series uh, overall and P1 championships. Uh, it's a fantastic, fantastic model. And if you look, if you follow me on Instagram, by the way, follow all my social media stuff, Facebook, Twitter, and all that. The links are in the description. But you saw that uh, I posted a picture of myself uh, in a muscle milk shirt and a muscle milk hat. Well, I got the muscle milk hat a little bit later, but I bought the shirt at the same time I bought this car. I got it for $45, which was a heck of a deal. I was actually planning on buying this car online anyway, and this was way back in 2013. But it was at the track. It was for $45, which is almost unheard of for a Spark model, um, but I was so pleased to get it for that price. Um, man, all right, let's take a look at this. Um, you do, on Spark models, you do get a little bit more, um, not just the um, car. You get this wooden base here, and it usually has something written on the bottom of it, as you can see. P1, 2012 P1 Championship winning Muscle Milk HPD ARX 03A. Of course, I did film this car, so there's probably a little card annotation if it hasn't already popped up. Uh, and you can see that me film this car in action. You also get this uh, plastic case, which keeps the dust off of it and the box. It has a little bit of a box insert on there, but there's not really anything on there. It says not suitable for children under 14 years, um, probably because uh, no children under 14 years can afford this. Now, it is kind of delicate, so I have to be kind of careful with it when I show it off to you guys. The front wheels actually do kind of turn. A little bit, but it's not a toy, um, so you're not going to be pushing this thing around on the ground too much. So let's take a look at the top. I usually don't go over sponsors, but there's just so few on this car that I'll go over them. You can see the number six with the American Le Mans series presented by Tequila Patron uh, logo there, the IMSA logo, the old IMSA before it got taken over by NASCAR, and frankly, in my opinion, in my opinion, in my Bobby Answer voice, ruined um, Michelin. American Le Mans series, Michelin, American flag, muscle milk down the end. Um, 
Yeah, unfortunately, this team no longer exists. Muscle Milk Picket Racing, as it were, call was called. Unfortunately, uh, kind of ran the first couple races of the Tudor United Sports Car Championship and decided uh, quite rightly that enough was enough, and they pulled out. Um, again, in my opinion, uh, the Tudor United Sports Car Championship is not nearly... Um, as worthy as the American Le Mans series was. I enjoyed the American Le Mans series a lot more and actually went on my way to watch those races. Um, I'm pretty much limited to watching the Rolex 24 these days um, from the the offerings of the Tudor Championship. As you can see, Klaus Graf and Lucas Luer, they were the two drivers who uh, shared this car most of the time. Though, um, Romain Dumas, um, I think... Uh, a few others, uh, Greg Pickett, who actually owned owned Muscle Milk for a while. Um, that you can see Muscle Milk logo and the these are like the TV onboard camera logos. In fact, I think this is the onboard camera right here. Uh, that's even modeled on this car, so it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, those were the two main drivers of the cars, and they were the two that always won the championships. So you can see they even got the foil right, the kind of uh, foil where the car backfires. Here's the big honkin' holes and the big honkin' fin. Honda Racing HPD and Muscle Milk on the back. Uh, pretty much the same on this side. You can see Michelin tires, Brody Banta's favorite. Then here on the back, I mean, this is, this is so detailed. Um, you guys are probably used to not quite as de detailed die-cast cars as this. But you've even got the Muscle Milk logos on the little uh, ducktail gurney flap there. Um, then you've got the Michelin logos on the cheese wedges, and then you've got the IMSA P1 logo on the diffuser there. Even, you've even got detail on the bottom of the car. You can see this is the little bar, this is supposed to represent the barge board, the, um, the uh, wooden plank underneath the car that... Uh, you'll see when it, when a car sparks, especially you'll see in the Le Mans 24 Hours this year, some cars sparking. That's because they're hitting the barge board here, and it's uh, actually catching a little bit of fire and flying out the back. Really cool effect. This car didn't spark all that much. Um, they just didn't run it low enough, I don't think. But look at the detail on the bottom of this. Fantastic. Um, I actually really did fall in love with the American Le Mans series. At one time, it actually almost overtook IndyCar. And you can even see, I'm not going to touch that because those things break off at the drop of a hat. A uh, little uh, radio antenna there, and even I think this is a little like adjuster for um, maybe the front aerodynamics. I don't re actually remember what that's called. So if you're a big uh, sports car person, let me know what that is. And the mirrors do actually have mirrors in there. But yeah, I was a big, big fan of the American Le Mans series, and I was really, I'm really sorry to have seen that go away. Um, I still watch the WEC races. But it sure was nice seeing them at tracks like Road Atlanta and Sebring and uh, and uh, Laguna Seca. And I kind of, I really do miss that. The, the rear wheels, as far as I'm aware, don't actually... Well, yeah, they do a little bit. But again, you have to be kind of careful. There's actually even detail on the inside of the wheel. You can see the brakes in there. I mean, you are getting what you paid for with these cars. Uh, as expensive as they are... Um, I'm a big fan of them. So there you go. That is the Muscle Milk Picket Racing uh, HPD ARX 03A. Alphabet soup a little bit on the name, but it's a fantastic diecast model. Actually, they did, uh, I should say, before I wrap it up, they did make an alternate version of this car. Uh, the Muscle Milk car, I should say. Um, it was the patriotic version that they ran on July 4th at Lime Rock Park. Uh, I think that one's a little bit more desirable. I wasn't that big of a fan of that paint scheme, especially because they ran this one 99% of the races that they ran with this particular race car. But, uh, yeah, and this thing sounded fantastic. Like I said, go check out that little card annotation, like right up here, um, and check out this car because it sounded fantastic. I actually think they used the base of an IndyCar engine for it. Um, then they did that for the Toyota engine prototypes as well, the old... Uh, what was supposed to be the IRL engine in 06 before it became a spec series and they just stuck with the 03 engines. There's a little bit of history lesson for you. But man, um, this car actually, I keep sp spill shooting information at you, but uh, whatever. Um, it's my review. <laughs> um, this car actually did go to Le Mans. 
uh, but not in the, with the Muscle Milk team. Uh, Straka Racing raced this in 2012 and 2013 at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. So that's the Le Mans connection, even though this car only raced in the American Le Mans series. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, NASCAR 15 con content is coming, I swear. Uh, I've just got to buy the game, and unfortunately right now I doesn't have the monies for that right now. But when I do, it's going to be a lot of content coming from that game, so be prepared. <laughs> so this has been the Muscle Milk Picket Racing Acura, or not Acura, well it wasn't Acura, but it became an HPD. A uh, beautiful piece of die cast or model, whatever you want to call it. And uh, hopefully I'll be picking up some more Spark models as uh, funds allow, and maybe I'll show them off to you. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.